What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. Xbox. This is my first YouTube video on this channel. I decided to start painting Xbox controllers, so this is my first custom painting Xbox controller. And uh, little pieces of information before I did use duplicolor paint. It is actually really, really good paint. I would encourage everybody to use it. I mean, I know there's a bunch of other ones out there, but I personally like it. It turned out really nice, and let's get into the controller. So, as you can see, we got black metallic on the bottom. I got a couple different light sources going here, so it might go in and out. But we'll try to work with it. Also, my camera's not the greatest either. Anyway, back to the controller. We got the blue X, Y, B, and A buttons, as well as guide button and D-pad. Select and start are black, along with the analog sticks. Get a little in on the splatter. It's a really nice splatter. Um, down on the bottom, we got the blue metallic for the trim on top the LB and RB button are blue metallic and then the middle piece is black with the blue splatter these are regular black triggers I don't know if you can see but they're regular black triggers I didn't have any extra triggers to paint so I just left those that this is my back same as front, that nice blue splatter. Come on. There we go. Nice blue splatter. All over the controller. Lay it down. Um, I did paint the battery pack too. I only had one extra one. I used a rechargeable plain charge kit one. So I didn't paint that, but I had the one that came with the controller. And it turned out nice, except this one had a huge crack in it. I, don't, I can't remember what that was from, but I tried sanding it down, but it would not go away. But anyway, it turned out actually really nice, just like the controller. Back to the controller. The controller has no cracks, no overspray, no nothing. It is honestly perfect, I'm not going to lie. And uh, all the splatter and whatnot, it's all one piece. There's no ridges, there's no nothing. It honestly works really nice. It feels great. It feels like a normal controller in your hand. I don't have any rumble packs in here, so it's really light right now. But just wanted to show it off to you guys. So let me know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Like it, dislike it. I just want to get some feedback. Tell me if what you think. Tell me. Ask me questions. Do whatever you got to do. I will be making some more videos, more controllers, and whatnot. I'll probably do some tutorials as well. So tell me what you guys think. I think I did an excellent job for my first one. And I'm not going to not going to stop there. I think I'm going to do a bunch more. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me if there's any ones that you want me to make. Colors, specifics. I'll try to do them. I might begin selling some of the shells or con whole controllers. I don't know yet, but it's actually really fun. I encourage people to actually go out and try it if you have a couple extra controllers lying around. If you screw up, you can always sand it down and try it again, but I did pretty good on my first one. So, yeah, let's give you a little more visual of it. Looks really nice with the battery pack on there. It's just not that stupid crack. Alright guys, thanks. So just tell me what you think. And uh see you next time.